Welcome. I'm your host, Elizabeth Durazio, coming to you from the First Baptist Church right here in the center of New London. Today I'm joined by Charles Glidewell, the pastor here, and New London Police Chief Cobb as we talk about the Faith in Blue Initiative. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. You know, right now in our country, there's a lot of debate and strife as to what is the definition of community policing. But I think in New London and small towns around here, I think you've got community policing nailed. <laughs> I hope so. You know, I hope that uh, the people here in, in New London feel like they're safe and secure um, in the place that they choose to live, to work, and to enjoy recreational activities. So um, we, we enjoy a lot of support in town for which we are very grateful mm -hmm. and thankful. One of the great things about small towns is typically you know everybody in town. Now we've had a lot of people move to New Hampshire, a lot of people emigrate out. So kind of the dynamic is changing even in the towns we know. So that's why it's important to have events like this Faith in Blue where you can get out in the community and put a face to the badge. Yes, that's incredibly important to us so that folks feel like when they see a police car rolling down the street it's not some sort of sense of fear or have I done something wrong? It's, mm -hmm. oh, there's Emily, or oh, there's another member of the police department that they know um, because we're members of the community as well. We, we attend houses of worship here. Our children go to school here. Um, so that that's part's important to us. Hey, I've been flagged down because my kid left the tailgate open. You know, like, you know, you're losing everything back there. Thank you. Yes. You might want to be pulled over fast. So, Pastor, tell us, this was really, you know, you really saw an opportunity here for the faith community to engage and help out. Tell us what kind of brought you to the Faith in Blue Initiative. Yeah, so we were delighted to, uh, to do this event. And I was actually approached by the chief and our very own pizza chef. Saw her in there one day talking about small communities, right? right? We saw each other at <laughs> pizza, get pizza hey. getting lunch, exactly, getting lunch. And she said, hey, there's a Faith in Blue um, initiative that I think maybe we could be a part of. And I'd love to talk about doing something together. So I actually wrote that down on a slip of paper and uh, on the pizza box, in fact, if memory <laughs> serves me correct. And uh, went back and, and Googled it. So uh, Faith in Blue Initiative is a national initiative. Sure. And uh, there's an actual Faith in Blue weekend, which is October 8th through the 10th or 11th. Mm -hmm. And um, Houses of Worship all over the country partner with local police departments to hold events. And it's a uh, the idea is that local churches create an environment, a context where uh, the community can come, uh, local police officials can come, and they interact together at this event um, as uh, not as police officer and citizen, but as uh, neighbors mm -hmm. and citizens, you know, who are a part of the same community. They share the same values, the same hopes, same dreams um, as their uh, fellow citizens. That's right from the Faith in Blue website. And so they make it very user friendly too. They have a number of events that you can can put on. And I saw a barbecue. Hey, and we've got the, yep, we've got that down to a science here at our church. And I thought, well, why don't we do something like that? And then the more we talked about it and the more we planned, we decided to broaden it out and make it uh, make sure that it was family friendly. So that we had um, you know we had games for kids, uh, various activities uh, for people to be involved in. And um, so we were excited. We were excited to do the event. And I think one of the important things is when you decide to become a pastor or a police officer, it really is a call. You really feel called to serve your fellow man. And each of you are doing that in a very unique way. And you saw that this community, we can take that relationship a step farther. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to go down the rabbit hole of hate or ignorance. We can actually cut that off right now and maintain and improve that good relationship. So you and I were talking about before the interview that you know you live in town, your kids you know are here. Tell us a little bit about that kind of community connection. Yep, um, I live uh, in a neighboring town to New London, and it's just so important to be able to see people and know people on a first name basis. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, while I am the chief of police here and I take that role very seriously, um, at the beginning and the end of the day, I'm Emily, or mm -hmm. I'm mom, or I'm a wife or a daughter. So just like the folks in our community. Um, you know, we all have different hats that we wear um, in our lives, and, and this is one of those that I wear. So it's, it's really important to us to partner with the community and to be able to have those connections. So we're, we, I, we were really excited to do it. And I'm very glad that we were able to, you know, explain to the, the community why you had this event and why it's so important. So people have someone to turn to, whether it's a personal crisis. I mean, right now people are having struggles of economics. People are having all different kinds of mental health issues. To know that you can reach out to your pastor you know, and he knows your police chief, or if you can reach out to your police chief or a fellow officer, if you see them like, look, I saw something with someone I knew, right. you know, and you guys can really then take that to the next level and get someone the help they need. Right. Understanding, Even you know, as Mr. Rogers said, find the helpers. Right. <laughs> right. So many of our problems that we face, challenges that we face as a nation, they're not going to be solved at the federal level. They can't mm -hmm. be. They're going to be solved at the local level. 
And so uh, that's why we were excited to do this event. As you said, rightly so, community policing in New London is, um, is terrific. You know, there are great community relations. Uh, this was just a way for us to be proactive and not take that for granted and mm -hmm. to keep that process going, keep it healthy, and uh, be a part of the solution as, as local citizens and neighbors. Well, I would like to thank both of you, Chief Cobb, you. Pastor Glidewell, and I'd like to thank everyone in our community as we come together and support our men and women in uniform and our local pastors to keep our community safe and healthy. Thank you, Pastor Charles and Chief Cobb, and we are very glad that we were able to help promote the Faith in Blue event. When we come back, Tim Blagden tells us about the latest things happening on the rail trail.